welcome back everyone so there comes a time when you fail to reset your pc because of multiple reasons like some of the applications are not working your windows settings are not working your windows navigation or taskbar is not responding properly or probably you got tons of viruses and infection and now you have finally decided to get rid of it now in such scenarios majority of us they just look for reset this pc option and then from here they try to reset this pc so why i'm not recommending you to go with this option because many time resetting this pc from here just delete all kind of application all kind of game that you have installed on your computer and even many time the reset this pc option get failed and you are not able to reset it so even it take a long time and even you don't get any kind of result so in this video i will be sharing the best method to reset and refresh your windows without losing any kind of application without losing any kind of game or any kind of data now before you starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all these useful videos notification in the future you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem all right so what i'm recommending you here that instead of going with the reset this pc option you should go ahead and reinstall the windows 10 or windows 11. so what is the proper way let me show you first you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser and let's say if you are using windows 11 then you will have to type windows 11 iso download then you will have to click on the first link of the microsoft that says download windows 11. now you need to follow the same instruction in case if you are using windows 10. all right so once you come to this page you will have to scroll down a bit and you have to look for this option that says create windows 11 installation media all right so you will have to click on download now choose the location then click on save once it get downloaded open the downloaded file click on yes and then you will be getting this kind of page that says getting a few things ready now if you have any kind of question in your mind that do you need any kind of usb or pen drives no you don't need any usb here and even this process take less time as compared to reset this pc option okay so you will have to click on accept and now it says select language and addition so here you get an option that says use the recommended option for this pc so you will have to uncheck this box then you will have to click on next now it says choose which media to use so as i said that you don't need any kind of usb or flash drive so go and select the iso file option then you will have to click on next now it will ask you the location that where exactly you want to save the iso so i will go with the download section if you want to rename this to anything like windows 11 so i will type windows 11 and the format the extension will be dot iso all right so click on save all right so now it will start downloading windows 11 so just wait for some time it won't take much time all right so once it will be done it says burn the iso file to a dvd so you will have to click on finish and now let's go back to the folder where we downloaded the windows 11 iso here it is so once you see this windows 11 or 10 iso you will have to make a right click on it now then you will have to click on mount and once it will be mounted you will find all kind of installation file over here so you will have to look for the setup file just make a double click on it click on yes and it will say install windows 11 so you will have to click on next very soon you will be getting another page that says applicable notices and license terms so you will have to click on accept and now it will be checking for the latest update so kindly wait for some more time so finally you will be getting this screen that says ready to install you won't be able to use your pc during installation save and close your file before you begin all right so it says installing windows 11 pro key personal file and app so we have to make sure that this option is being selected to key personal file and app now before moving let me show you that on my desktop you can see i have few of the application here and few of the game here like roblox on my taskbar and even if i go to my download section so you can see that we have two item over here in our local drive that is media creation tool and windows 11 iso now why i'm showing you this because after reinstalling you will find that none of the things will be changed 
only the windows will be reinstalled and refreshed all right so now let me click on install and the installation process will now be started now again this may take some time so you will have to wait again and after this finally you will see your windows 11 desktop okay guys bingo so now you can see that the windows 11 has been reinstalled now and you can now see that nothing has been changed not even my wallpaper not my windows 11 theme all kind of application all kind of game you can see on my desktop on my taskbar and now even if i bring up my file explorer and go to the download section so you can see both the files are being available here so this is the best way to just go ahead and refresh your windows in case if you had any kind of problem because this will be updating with the latest version of windows with the, all the latest windows 11 update so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye